Welcome to Cooking with Hilda. Today, I want to share with you guys a special recipe. Yes, you guessed it, another Guatemalan traditional recipe. This is a street food that you can find in the streets in Guatemala. It's very traditional and we love it. We call it enchiladas. But wait, it's not what you're probably thinking about. It's not that kind of enchilada, it's totally different. In Guatemala, we make enchiladas but put in a base of tostada that we cover with lettuce and then we put some beet salad on top and some beef and some egg and then some sauce and we're just getting too complicated. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to make these enchiladas because I know these are different and you are gonna love it. Here we have the selections of ingredients we're gonna use to assemble the enchilada. And I'm gonna walk you through the process of making each one of these. As you can see, Guatemalan cuisine is vibrant and unique. We love to combine different colors, textures, beef and sauces and spices, and of course, spicy. We love spicy. And that gives us as a result a delicious meal at the end. To make these enchiladas, you will need to start having some tostadas. You can purchase them at the store or making your own. You can choose between fry or oven bake. These are oven bake. And then on top of that, we just need to clean some lettuce leaves and just set it on top. And I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble one at the end. Also, you need some pickled beet salad. This pickled beet salad is delicious and you can eat it just as it own. You don't have to make enchiladas every time because it's very delicious to eat just like that. And to make this, I select the beets. I'm gonna use them and clean them very well before cooking them. I want them to be very clean because I'm gonna keep using the water where I'm gonna cook it to continue cooking the rest of the vegetables. I want to do this to start transferring the beet color to the rest of the vegetables. I cook the beets for around one hour. Your timing on cooking the beets may change depending on the size of the beets you're gonna cook. After they are cooked, they are gonna peel very well. You can peel it easily and then cut it and continue cooking in the same water the rest of the vegetables. Carrots, green beans, cauliflowers, chopped cabbage. And when everything is cooked, you put some onion on top. I use a whole sliced onion. And to this big salad, I added three fourths of a cup of vinegar mixed with three fourths of a cup of water. And to this mixture, I added one tablespoon of salt. And that I added to the salad to pickle it, cover it and let it rest overnight. So all this color you have here is gonna transfer and it's gonna be delicious. All that flavor is gonna be, is gonna be crunchy and delicious. I love it. Now let's talk about the beef. To start to making this beef, I chopped an onion and sauteed and then I added a carrot. I went to my back jar and picked some herbs. I like to have fresh herbs and it's not necessary to be, have a big garden or a big place to plant. You can start planting in your own kitchen little pots so you can have fresh herbs every day. After that, I added the beef, three pounds of beef. And I continued cooking and I added the chopped green beans and also at the end, I dropped some potatoes. I want to add potatoes at the end because they cook very fast. If you add it at the beginning, they are gonna be mushy and not with the right texture. You can adjust the flavor with the salt, pepper, cumin, garlic powder, or any other spices or flavors that you prefer. Now, let's move on to this delicious salsa. To make this sauce, I cook tomato, onion, cilantro, and when they're soft, I just blended it with some serrano peppers because I like spicy. This is totally optional. If you don't like spicy, just don't add the serrano peppers and adjust with salt and pepper too. 
these are eggs that I boil and cut in slices. Here I have some cilantro, chopped cilantro, and a sliced onion. And also I have this cotija cheese. Cotija cheese is a very popular cheese. I just dropped everything. <laughs> cotija cheese is a very popular cheese that we love to use in a lot of many different dishes. So if you can find cotija cheese, it's gonna be more authentic. But don't worry if you can't. Just use other kind of cheese like feta or any, any kind of cheese you can find. You can even make your own cheese. And if you don't know how to make it, I'm gonna leave a link in the description section so you can make another kind of cheese. To start making the enchilada, you need to grab a tostada and put a bit of lettuce on the bottom. And then on top, salad and beef. This has to be warm because it's, it's good when it's warm. It's better. And then spicy sauce. Remember that you can make these not as spicy. An egg, oh wait, an onion two onion rings. Oh, I'm splashing everything here. Let's set it here. Then, egg, cheese, and cilantro or parsley on top. Ha! Huh. So we are done. Traditional Guatemalan enchiladas. And I know you probably haven't pictured enchiladas like this, but I also know that if you make them, you're gonna love them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you find value in it, please give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time here in Cooking with Hilda.